today I'm going to be doing a really quick video, really, really quick, on how I beaded my pretzel necklace. Okay, so as you can see, my necklace is broken. These necklaces are really fragile. If you drop them on the floor, it's going to break. I could always glue it back and it wouldn't show but I haven't gotten the time to do that yet and I still have the bead pieces here as you can see it's still together I just have to fix the pretzel up and attach these back okay so how I made these I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna take this apart this part is a different section and there's a different piece of elastic which is right here that's connected to the bigger beads. I'm gonna just cut this apart and show you guys. Let me grab my scissors. Okay so see I just cut it and this is the little ring that goes around the pretzel. So, what? This would be the pretzel. But mine's broken, so. This would be the pretzel. If I can attach it right. And you would beat this. So, this would be split here this part would be cut and you would put it around the pretzel like so okay and then you would tie it as you can see the knot here so I tied it around the pretzel and it's kinda like a little bracelet around the pretzel now I have to loop these over because I cut the loop off. Okay, so let me just cut this. This is the little hook for the necklace. I have some extra string here. And I'm just quickly going to bead this. Okay, so this is one bead. And I'm just gonna put that through the bead once I can put it through. Okay, so that's one. And then I get my other bead. And that's two. This one through, kind of deep. That's two so far. This is three. Four. And five. Okay, so these are the beads on the string. As you can see, they're nice and bouncy. Now, what I did was you take this piece that's attached to your pretzel and you basically want to tie the end on the piece that you just made for your pretzel. Okay, so I'm just gonna double knot this. It won't break. You might be scared that it's gonna break, but it won't. The string is really hefty. Okay? Okay, so that's how you complete the bead part. 
And you would do the, uh, the same thing on the other side of the pretzel. This is just, my pretzel's broken, so. And then you would tie knots here just to make sure the beads won't come off. So you just tie regular knots. And I would really suggest that you don't make the beads too heavy because this is elastic. And if you do make them heavy by accident or whatever the case may be, you can always double the string to make the hold stronger. So I'm just tying it. I tied it like about four times. And that's the knot as you can see so the beads won't pass that and then I just attach this by tying it and it doesn't have to look perfect but if you tie pretty knots then it will so I just take this one side of it and then I'm just going to tie this and then this thing is going to be stuck on there <laughs> I cut off any extra string that I have and as you can see the clip is now attached if you want, you can add extra beads before you do this, or whatever is good for you. So that's how you do it. I'm going to show you from my view. So this is the necklace from my view. As you can see, I told you guys it was messed up. It is broken. So this is how it would look and of course I would have to attach this piece to the other side when I put it back together. It's kind of like a puzzle. And that's how I made the necklace. I hope this video really helped you guys because I know there was a few people who didn't know how to put the beads on. It's really really simple. As you can see, it's attached. The beads are attached, and I made mine really tight. It's really simple. If you guys have any questions, you can just email me at bulliesandmakeupgmail.com, and I'll be happy to help you guys. I just did this the easy way. I just brought two of these clips, which come like this. I didn't want to get the rings or anything to make it more complicated and I just clipped these two together and there's your necklace. But now I'm in the process of making bracelets. As you can see I got some balls going on right here. I'm going to be making a bracelet and another necklace which is going to be a lollipop. And I will be posting pictures of that on my Instagram. So you could just tune into my Instagram for the pictures for that. And just let me know if you want a tutorial on the lollipop necklace that I'm going to be making. Well, you guys, take care.